good evening today we are going to see the sheet number 2 for the term work of design of uh, steel structures so first sheet already we have completed now we will switch over to the second sheet so uh, if we will go to sheet number 2 um, then we have again divided it into four parts so same as our uh, sheet number 1 in one fourth part we have to go for cross section for tension member uh, then second one fourth part we have cross section for compression members third one fourth part we have table 10 of buckling class of cross section now in this we have actually four buckling class we have already uh, if we will go to table we have already seen this table 10 and there we have seen four classes and depending upon these classes we have value of alpha which is given in table number 7 that also we have already seen so this uh, buckling class uh, will decide which table you have to use that is 8 a b c d and then that which is for your reduction factor and uh, 9 a b c d which is for your uh, compressive stress so which table we have to go for you can b with this buckling class which is given in table 10 then table 11 we have effective length of prismatic compression members so we are going to write only four cases which we have already studied in mechanics of structures so we have four cases that uh, you know, one end fixed other free then we have both end pin then we have one end fixed other end uh, hinged and then last we have both end fixed so likewise four cases only we are going to consider in this now we have first uh, cross sections for tension members so we have main that is cables then we have group of wires also known as strands which generally we require in pre stress concrete then we have different roll section now i have shown this roll section that is uh, solid uh, section so you can have a uh, hollow uh, circular section you have hollow rectangular or square sections that also we can use for tension members then we have angle sections then we have channel sections then we have i sections you can use t sections also then we have built up sections so you can i have shown some of these so we can have angles on opposite side of gusset plate which we have shown over here then we have uh, angle Uh, you can use angle on same side of gusset plates also that we have not shown over here then we have star angle then we have channels which are back to back with uh, plate then we have channel face to face with plate so likewise this built up section we can use for tension members some of these are shown over here similarly we can have cross sections for compression members so if we will see in this actually we are not going to consider cable then all sections we have uh, mostly similar actually compression members have much more load than that of tension members and therefore here we have built up section that is more built up sections we can have in compression members so now here i have shown beam uh, section with plates we can use then built up sections which already we have seen over there so we have all these that is angles on opposite side of gusset plate angles on star angles then channels back to back channel face to face here i have shown beam beam with cover plates so you can have this when we have loads heavy then we can go built up section we can have uh, beam with channel sections also depending upon your compression load we have to decide the section for this this will be second part of your sheet then we have third part of the sheet and that third part we have table 10 now we have table 10 that is buckling class of cross section that is from is 800 2007 so we have this i section now uh, we have to keep in mind this horizontal we are not going to consider as uh, x x axis so you have to keep in mind we have this in is code that is given as zz axis so zz axis y y axis now uh, we have this uh, first case h by bf now h you can see we have overall depth and bf we have overall width of flange and if this is greater than 1.2 and tf that is thickness of flange if this is less than or equal to 40 so thickness of flange actually we have to show over here so we can show thickness of flange that is generally we are going to show in mid uh, 
midway of this so we are going to consider actually average thickness so this also you have to show over here so tf less than or equal to 40 then if we have buckling about zz axis then we have buckling class a and if we are buckling about y y axis then we have b then if we have tf between 40 to 100 then we have buckling about zz buckling class b and buckling about y y we have c then we have h by bf so here if you will see which is greater than 1.2 this is less than or equal to 1.2 and tf less than or equal to 100 for zzp for yyc and for tf greater than 100 we have for zzd and for yy also we have d this is for roll dissection then we can have this welded section or we can have uh, uh, welded section with plates in this case we have tf less than or equal to 40 then we have z about zz axis we have b buckling class and y by axis we have c now when you have tf actually this tf greater than 40 and for this tf greater than 40 so this should be greater than 40 and for this greater than 40 we have again two class that is zzc and y by we have d so this will be greater than 40. So you have to write it as greater than 40. So then we have ZZC and then we have YYD. Then we have a cross section that is hollow sections. If we are hot rolled then for any axis that is ZZ or YY, we have buckling class A. And for cold form, we have any uh, uh, buckling axis, then also we have buckling class B. And then we have this already we have seen. So for any your uh, the sections, road sections, except I, we have any for a buckling class any that is ZZ or YY buckling class we have C. Buckling axis, it may be ZZ axis or YY axis, your buckling class will be C. And then we have this will be built up sections. And for built up section, you may have buckling about ZZ axis or YY axis your buckling class will be C. So this table we have to prepare. So this you have to keep in mind only. Here we have TF greater than 40 millimeters. Then we can have effective length of prismatic members. Then we can have these boundary conditions. Then at one end, at other end, translation, rotation, translation, rotation, schematic representation and effective length. Then we have first case. Uh, so we have uh, translation rotation that both restrain means we have fixed support and translation rotation both free means we have uh, free support or cantilever end so that is most important translation restraint and rotation restraint so if only translation restraint in support translation restraint rotation restraint means fixed support so we have effective length will be 2l now if we will go to next that is translation restraint and rotation free means hinge at one end at other end also translation restraint rotation free means hinged so both end hinged we have effective length that is equal to uh, given length that is unsupported length we will say so we have this will be for second step then we can have third we have restraint restraint means we have fixed and restraint free means we have hinged. So first bottom will be first support. First, this will be for your first value. And for second, we have will be we will be top one. So here also, first we have both restraint, second, we have both free. Here we have first restraint free, second also restraint free. So both hinged. Here first restraint restraint, so fixed support, restraint free, so we have hinge support and effective length is 0.8 L. Then third we have restraint, 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 means all restraint. So first will be fixed support and second also fixed support. And then we have effective length will be 0.65 L. So we have this will be your uh, uh, total uh, table 11 we have to plot over there. Other cases we need not require to go for. And we have that nameplate same, which are we have plotted in your sheet number one. So likewise, you have to go for sheet number two, and this will complete your uh, second sheet, uh, which is for your uh, design of steel structure top work. 
so thank you so today we will stop here only so sheet number 3 we will see in next lectures so thank you